Hello beautiful people, welcome back to my channel Sky Life. If you've been to my channel before, you know that I explore the world of wellness and try all sorts of crazy health and lifestyle challenges. Today I have my friend Eduardo here. Hi guys. Eduardo and I work together at BuzzFeed. You recently started a channel. I did, I recently started my own YouTube channel. We're both doing health and fitness type things and mm. today we're gonna be doing another lifestyle challenge. Eduardo, what are we doing? We're intermittent fasting and I'm not excited about it at all. So with intermittent fasting, you're eating for a smaller window of time during the day. A shorter fast would be like a 12 hour. So you know, if you stop eating at 8 p.m., you can't start eating again until 8 a.m. the next day. What I've read is that men can go a little bit longer. Whereas mm. women, we respond a little differently to hunger. and women can have a hard time responding to like that starvation feeling. So I'm gonna do a little bit shorter of a fast, around 14 hours. Do you think you can do a 16 hour and see how it goes? We'll see. What are you most nervous about? I'm someone who's like naturally very skinny um, and I'm always like gonna say like I wanna put on muscle and I'm worried that if I'm doing intermittent fasting and if I'm cutting out calories out of my day that I'm going to lose weight and that it's gonna be detrimental to my body and to my workouts. I've read a lot about how it is really helping certain people recover from health issues and lose weight and get fit. And in addition to that, there is some pretty good research emerging on intermittent fasting. Mm -hmm. We're consulting with an expert this time. His name is Dr. Jason Fung, and he is helping people recover from type two diabetes and other health issues with intermittent fasting. So we're gonna be talking to him and actually get some, some expert advice on this. So I'm Dr. Jason Fung and I work with uh, people in the intensive dietary management program, which treats uh, people predominantly with type two diabetes and weight loss with intermittent fasting and other diets. What exactly is intermittent fasting? So fasting is really any time that you don't so even if you don't eat during the night while you're sleeping, that's really fasting. That's where the word breakfast comes in. It's the meal that breaks your fast. So you're talking about a 12 to 14 hour fast. If you want to uh, push it, you can go up to like 16 hours and up to 24 hours, but anytime you're not eating. And some people do well and some people don't do well. So we are essentially eating the same amount of calories that we would in a normal day. We're just shrinking the time that we will be eating those calories? Yeah, that's one way of doing it. There's just a study that came out, for example, where they did this. They did three meals, um, either sort of 12 hour, over 12 hours, or three meals over six hours. Exactly the same meals, exactly the same um, number of calories, for example. What they found was sort of huge benefits huge metabolic benefits uh, to people with prediabetes. So these are sicker population. I don't want to lose weight. Are there other benefits to doing intermittent fasting? Because I'm someone who works out a lot and I'm always in the mindset like I want to put on muscle. Can intermittent fasting help for that? Yeah, that's, that's really interesting because we see all kinds of benefits. So from an athletic standpoint, there's a lot of research going on into something called training in the fasted state which is something that people use to sort of hack their body into being able to work out harder. So what happens is that during fasting, there's um, the, the hormone insulin goes down. As you drop, you actually get a surge in this, these other hormones called counter-regulatory hormones. So those are hormones that run counter to insulin. So insulin calls these go up. So some of those include noradrenaline, sympathetic tone, and growth hormone. So in fact, when you're fasting, you're not actually shutting down your body, which is what everybody thinks. It's actually not true. Your body actually is pumping you full of energy. Everybody thinks, okay, well, you're going to lose muscle because if you're not eating, you're going to burn muscle. Again, not true because the growth hormone, which is one of these hormones that goes up during fasting, actually plays a huge role. So even uh, when you start to eat again, then your body is going to start to rebuild those proteins at a higher rate because of their high growth hormone. Do you have any tips for us as we embark on this week-long trial of intermittent fasting? Um, the only thing I would say is that, like anything else, it gets easier the more you do it. So it usually takes about two to three weeks for people to sort of get used to this uh, sort of schedule. So at a week, you might be okay, or you might still be in that mode where you're just feeling this really sucks. There's a period of adaptation, which is about two to three weeks. 
your athletic performance can suffer in that period of time. So if your body is not used to the way it's, you know, it's used to having plenty of glucose, you know, filing around, then, and it's not, then your athletic performance could suffer. You could find that your workouts are a little bit less, but that's not a problem with the fasting. The problem is that you haven't let your body sort of get used to it. Are you ready to do this? No. I'm like so hungry right now that I can't think about not eating. Yeah. I'm hungry right now, too. We can do right. it. I believe in us. Yeah, we... it's one week. Piece of cake. One week is nothing. 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 We are strong people. We got this. It is night one. I have just begun the fast. I had my dinner at 8 p.m. It is now 9 p.m. I cannot eat again for 16 hours, which is noon of tomorrow. It doesn't seem like that long, but I am someone who eats so much. By the time noon hits, I've already had like three full meals, basically. I'm nervous. I'm already hungry. We'll see how it goes. I totally did this all wrong and did not plan the right way at all. This morning, I woke up at 5.30 to get some work done, and it's 7 a.m. right now, and I'm starving but I can't eat until, let's see, if I stopped eating at nine last night, I'm doing a 14 hour fast. I can't eat until 11, four more hours. This is not good. So I'm in work right now. I am so hungry right now. It's terrible. They have bagels and I really, really want one. Positive side, like I say that a lot of time today because I don't have to eat. Well, I've been working from home today, which is why I'm still in this kimono. I had every intention of going into the office and then I got so swept away with getting things done that before I knew it, I looked at the clock and it's 1.15 and I still haven't eaten today. The hunger kind of passed and I just got really involved in work and then all of a sudden my stomach was like a monster. So finally, I'm eating. I have a bowl with quinoa and veggies, Brussels sprouts, broccoli, greens, avocado, and it has a delicious dressing that I made myself. It's a turmeric ginger almond butter dressing. It's so freaking good. If you guys want the recipe for this, let me know and I will post it on the blog. Mm, finally. Food is a lot more satisfying when you haven't eaten for quite a while. I just ate so much food. I've been trying to make up for the calories I lost in the morning, but it's been difficult. And I just had like two and a half meals worth of calories in one sit down and it hurts. And I have to go out soon and I don't know what I'm gonna do. So I'm just gonna be a big ball of digesting slothness. So I went for a run this morning and I have to go to work now, but I can't eat for another two and a half hours. And I really want to eat something. I'm really hungry. I'm used to eating right after I work out, eating a big breakfast and then being set for the day until the afternoon. And now it's like mentally screwing around with me that I can't eat anything yet. And I'm feeling really, really hungry. It is the end of my fast, and I'm f***ing hungry. I'm with my friend Joe. We're so hungry. I'm irritable. Ask Joe. So irritable. He's also being irritable. A few moments later. I just inhaled my food. A bit of a stomach ache because I ate it really quickly. I feel better now. I'm in a better mood. God. It's 1.30, and I'm finally coming around to eating. I'm with my friend Sean and we're gonna go hiking. I'm not gonna survive this hike unless I eat. What do we have? We have a lot of snacks. There's so many snacks in here. Some mango, some radishes, oh. a rice cake, a protein bar, and some leftover pizza. And oh. a muffin. And a muffin this and a This is what cookie. I want. If I wasn't intermittent fasting, I probably wouldn't be eating a muffin right now. But since I'm so damn hungry, it feels like I don't give a shit. Well, like I just there's... want, I mean, it's a healthy muffin. We got it from a healthy restaurant. Mm. Best part of fasting is when you finally do eat, it tastes so good. Right? <laughs> it makes you appreciate food way more. Have you ever tried intermittent fasting? I have. I love it um, for a short amount of time. <laughs> a couple <laughs> days and that's about it. And now a pause for your Sky Life Zen moment of the day.
we lost track of time. We hiked for a while, and then we sat and meditated for a little bit. Did uh, some kirtan, bit. talked, and it's almost 6 p.m., which means it's almost time for dinner. Because mm. if I eat too late again, I'm screwed for tomorrow. <laughs> we are concluding our lovely hike. Sean just dropped some wisdom. <laughs> what were you just saying? Because it blew my mind. We're caught up in always wanting the best, yeah? Like, I want to have the best car, I want to have the best house, I want to be the best version of myself. What if instead of thinking along those lines, we decided to go after the version of ourselves that we loved the most? Mm -hmm. And those could very easily be the same thing, but wouldn't it be a much more enjoyable process if it was coming from that place of trying to get to that state where you loved yourself the most, rather than putting the pressure on yourself to be the best. Dropping knowledge out here. Comment if you want to see Sean in more videos dropping all this wisdom at ya. You're getting a treat today you didn't think you would be getting. What I've been doing during the fasting period in the morning, instead of having breakfast, is I'm just having some mushroom coffee. I'm kind of doing like bulletproof style fasting. So this is really helpful for getting me through to the window when I can eat. So it's evening, I just worked out. I am so hungry. I just had a protein shake, a full meal, and I am still starving. I am having to force eat a lot more food in a few hours. So like, I feel like I've had like 1500 calories in 20 minutes and I'm still hungry. It is almost 11 p.m. and if I eat, that means that I have to wait until after 1 p.m. to eat tomorrow and I'm boxing in the morning at 6.30. So that would be very unwise of me to eat now even though I'm really hungry and feel like I need something to get through this work but I'm just gonna have to suck it up and not eat, which is making me feel like this isn't that healthy to suppress your hunger. Normally I let my hunger guide me. The good news is that I stopped eating quite a while ago today, so I can eat early tomorrow morning. I can probably eat right after boxing. It's Monday morning and I feel terrible. Um, I went out for Pride this weekend. I drank a lot yesterday during the day. Um, I stopped drinking and eating at 8 p.m to do the intermittent fasting. And I woke up today and I feel really hungover and really tired, I did not sleep well at all. And I feel very miserable, honestly. Since I stopped eating yesterday pretty early in the day, I get to have a normal breakfast today. It's a Monday and I made a beautiful green smoothie. Doing intermittent fasting over the weekend was definitely difficult. But now that it's the week, I think that I can get into a routine a little bit better. I'm going to stop eating earlier in the day so that I can eat earlier in the day and actually have a real breakfast. I have this beautiful, delicious salad and I cannot wait to eat it. I'm so hungry. I am feeling better though. I've had a lot of water today and I can't wait to eat the salad. The day I've been waiting for, for seven days, the last day. I'm breaking the fast with some apples and peanut butter because this is one of my favorite favorite foods mm -hmm. peanut butter not great i get an unsweetened kind but it's still mm, i just love it so much i only buy it every once in a while or else i would eat the whole jar in like two days so i have to be careful with that but i figured put myself through a long week of fasting the least i can do is treat myself with some peanut butter. Mm. Intermittent fasting is over, which means I can finally make myself a nice breakfast. So we are back after our week of intermittent fasting. Eduardo, I'm very curious. How did it go for you? I greatly disliked it, I'll be honest. <laughs> I'm someone who naturally needs to consume a lot of calories to put on weight and to keep on muscle. And so limiting the amount of food I can eat to a, to a few hours a day is just not efficient for me. I found it difficult to do more than 12 hours when I was getting to the 14 hour mark. It was really hard for me, especially with my lifestyle of working out early. I normally always have a big breakfast after I work out and then I'm good for most of the day. I found myself also forgetting to eat because then I would skip breakfast 
and then I would get really into work and then completely forget to eat or not have time to eat and then I'm trying to make up for the calories later in the day and maybe overeating. I'm so used to eating every three hours. I meal prep. I'm like a very obsessive when it comes to my food. And I think it was nice to change it up and realize like, okay, if I miss a meal or I go a few hours, it's not the end of the world. Another positive from the experience is I think I definitely started appreciating food a lot more. I think gratitude is like one of the most important things to being happy. So I think fasting or doing intermittent fasting is a way to remind yourself that we are very lucky to have such easy access to all this food. And it's nice to take a second and be grateful for that. I felt myself really appreciating the food a lot more and being more mindful with how I ate. It does make you, I think, a bit more mindful. So I know a lot of different cultures and religions, they do fasting as a way to become more mindful and to become more kind of in tune with themselves and their bodies. And if you're doing fasting for spiritual mindfulness reasons, I think it's a great idea. When I did my yoga training, we did a 24 hour fast. And during that time we went on a vision quest, which sounds crazy, but basically you're just in nature alone, really self-reflecting and going inwards to connect to a deeper spiritual part of yourself. And the reason for the fasting is so that you cannot, you can use the all the energy that you spend digesting food to actually focus on your spirituality and to have more mental energy to go deeper spiritually. From my experience, that time that I did this 24 hour fast, I found I was opening parts of my mind that I normally don't connect to and parts of my my soul that I don't connect to. There's a reason why it's lasted over thousands of years in those cultures. I didn't expect any changes to happen to my body and in the after picture you can see a slight difference of like le more lean toned look. It might be in my head but I definitely was getting a lot less calories than I usually do so maybe I did feel like a little bit skinnier. Since we only did this for a week it's hard to know what would happen over time. However, I think that we got a good understanding of like for our lifestyles, how it would apply. From this experience, I have discovered that intermittent fasting is not for me. I think perhaps for other people who have different goals regard to their health and their bodies, it might be useful. I think that everybody is so different. I say this all the time on this channel and there is a lot of research to show that intermittent fasting is really helping a lot of different types of issues and and health ailments and different types of people for me i don't think it works with my lifestyle for someone else it might be a great tool but it's just about finding you know what is going to work for your body okay thank you so much for watching that's it for this episode of sky life and be sure to check out eduardo's channel he does a lot of great health and fitness content that you will probably enjoy and also subscribe to my channel and hit the bell button so you will be notified whenever I post a new video and remember you have the power to thrive you have the power to live your best life ever Woo! yes all right I'll see you next week bye bye